Well, I, I think that it's useful um, to uh, uh, categorize uh, the solutions under, under three different headings. Um, uh, and the first, uh, and again, the, the probably the most obvious, uh, uh, would be what I call uh, system, system uh, or, 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 or programmatic reforms. The developed countries need to rein in the cost of pay-as-you-go old age uh, uh, benefit programs. Um, many have begun to do so. Uh, uh, interestingly, particularly in Europe, um, there's actually been more progress um, in some of Europe's aging social welfare states uh, in controlling long-term um, pension costs uh, than there has been in the United States. Uh, many countries um, have enacted forms that either partly or wholly index uh, pension payments in the future to changing demographics um, and so uh, uh, stabilize or at least partially stabilize long-term costs. Uh, Germany has done this, uh, Sweden has done this, Italy um, has, has done this as well. Uh, but you can't just control the costs because uh, the elderly in most countries are highly dependent um, on, on public benefit systems. You also have to put in place alternative means of support uh, which largely uh, translates into greater funded savings in which people fund more of their own retirement income out of savings set aside during the working years. And here there's been much less progress. Um, so I'd hesitate to say that uh, uh, Germany um, um, or Italy uh, have solved the problem to the extent they've solved the fiscal burden problem. Um, they may have done so uh, uh, by creating a future elderly poverty problem. So this, this system may be more fiscally sustainable, but less socially and politically sustainable. Uh, but the place to start um, is with in-system, in, inside of system reforms. Beyond that, countries need to um, enact broader uh, reforms that can help increase uh, the size of the workforce um, and the size of, of the economy, and so make any given burden um, more sustainable. Uh, retirement ages need to um, need to go up. Work lives need to be um, lengthened. We can't continue to take all uh, of this wonderful longevity dividend as increased uh, end-of-life leisure. Uh, labor markets need to be reformed uh, to encourage more working-age adults um, uh, to um, become uh, productive contributors uh, to the to the economy. Uh, immigration uh, could also be um, part of the solution, though some countries uh, are better positioned to take advantage uh, of that uh, uh, option than than others are. Um, and and finally, there are the sort of global synergies. Um, I talked a moment ago about the geopolitical challenge of a rapidly aging and shrinking developed world um, and a younger and still rapidly growing developing world. Uh, but there's not just a challenge there, there's also an opportunity. Um, to the uh, 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 globalization um, a a beco becomes a way, uh, becomes a means through which uh, y young people in the developing world can help themselves by helping to support uh, old people across international borders. Um, this can be done through through labor markets, um, which can match uh, uh, workers uh, with jobs, uh, either through immigration um, or through outsourcing, and it can also be done through capital markets, um, which can match savers uh, uh, in the developed world with investment opportunities uh, in the developing world. The extent to which uh, these synergies um, can can be leveraged, uh, though uh, may 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 depend critically on reforms on both sides. Uh, in a pay-as-you-go pension system, in a pay-as-you-go social insurance system like U.S. Social Security, um, or the systems in Europe, most European countries, and Japan, you're you're a slave to your own demography. Um, in a funded system, you can invest in younger and faster-growing countries around the world. So the developed countries would need to move more towards savings-based systems. 
developing countries uh, would have to ensure uh, transparency uh, uh, and security um, of capital markets uh, and in investment opportunities. But, but there is uh, much potential here um, for, uh, for sort of a hopeful scenario of global cooperation uh, in an aging world.